Dr. Elizabeth Shaw, a renowned archaeologist with an impressive array of doctorates in paleontology, archaeology, human mythology, and metrics, played a pivotal role in the expedition of the USCSS Prometheus. Her mission was to uncover the secrets of LV-223, considered the cradle of the enigmatic engineers. Alongside her scientific partner and lover Charlie Holloway, Shaw discovered the coordinates of LV-223. Her discovery was not only a scientific milestone, but also ignited in Shaw a burning desire to confront the ultimate truth of human existence. With unwavering determination, she campaigned to the Wayland Corporation, envisioning the expedition as a path to finally meet their creator. Her tireless quest bore fruit when they made their most significant discovery to date, hidden on the mystical Isle of Skye. This finding became the key to unlocking funds for their monumental journey. Shaw's passion was more than mere scientific curiosity. It was a deeply personal odyssey. She longed to unravel the existential enigmas that have tormented humanity for a long time. Our origins, our purpose, and our place in the cosmos. The journey to LV-223 was not just a mission, it was a pilgrimage to the very heart of these ancient mysteries. Before we begin, I have a small request for you. If you enjoy my content, I invite you to join our community by simply clicking to subscribe to the channel. Your action, though small, propels these videos. I deeply appreciate your support. And now, it's time to begin. Elizabeth's life was marked by adversity and resilience. Born in 2058 to British parents, her early years in South Africa were shaped by loss and faith. Her mother died of a mysterious illness, leaving young Elizabeth in the care of her missionary father. Tragically, she later witnessed her father's death from Ebola, cementing a life marked by hardship and perseverance. Shaw's academic journey led her to excel in paleontology, archaeology, human ethology, and metrics, disciplines that would later define her path. In 2089, the Isle of Skye witnessed Shaw's groundbreaking discovery alongside her colleague and romantic partner Charlie Holloway. Together, they unearthed a star map linking disparate ancient cultures, interpreted as a call from humanity's mythical progenitors, the Engineers. This revelation catapulted Shaw into the limelight. She approached the Wayland Corporation, conveying her ambitious quest and a message to Peter Wayland. Her plea was not just for funding, but for a partnership to unravel the profound mysteries of existence, the nature of death the origins of humanity, and our place in the universe. Shaw proposed a journey to a location she believed held these answers. The Prometheus Project was the culmination of Shaw's tireless search. Peter Wayland, the elderly founder of Wayland Corp, was captivated by her vision. He commissioned the Prometheus, a state-of-the-art scientific vessel, to follow the map to LV-223. Shaw's intention was more than scientific. It was a personal pilgrimage to confront the engineers, whom she considered the creators of humanity. Once on LV-223, the team's discoveries were monumental and disturbing. Shaw's analysis of an engineer's head confirmed shared DNA with humans, lending credibility to her theories. However, the mission took a terrifying turn when Shaw, unknowingly, had intimate relations with an infected Holloway, and quickly she found herself in the midst of a rapid and unnatural pregnancy. But with quick thinking, she escaped her planned cryosleep and underwent a self-performed cesarean in a med pod. The procedure extracted a hostile alien creature resembling a squid, later known as the trilobite. Shaw's situation became even more complicated upon discovering the clandestine presence of Peter Wayland on the ship, manipulating events through his synthetic assistant, David. Unfazed by her terrifying experiences, Shaw accompanied David and Whalen to a mysterious chamber, venturing deep into the alien ship. There, David awakened a sleeping engineer, an act that led to catastrophic consequences. The engineer, indifferent and hostile, unleashed violence, decapitating David and eliminating the team, with Shaw narrowly escaping the carnage. In a desperate attempt to thwart the engineer's ominous mission, Shaw communicated with Captain Janik imploring him to stop the alien ship at all costs. The captain heroically responded with a kamikaze maneuver, crashing the Prometheus into the alien vessel. Shaw, battling enormous challenges, made her way to the largest escape pod, a sanctuary equipped with supplies for two years. Her relief was short-lived as she encountered her monstrous offspring, a terrifying result of her previous alien impregnation. 
In a chilling confrontation with the Engineer, Shaw released the squid-like creature, which incapacitated and infected the Engineer, allowing her a narrow escape. Tormented but resolute, Shaw left the escape pod, only to receive a surprising communication from David's dismembered head. David revealed the existence of more Engineer ships, offering navigation assistance and a return to Earth. However, Shaw, driven by an unrelenting quest for understanding, rejected the offer. She resolved to travel to the Engineer's homeworld, seeking answers to the enigmatic questions about humanity's creation and the Engineer's sudden intention to destroy their creation. After recovering David's remains, Shaw and the android activated another of the Engineer's ships. As they departed from LV-223, Shaw solemnly narrated a final transmission, the last record of the Prometheus. She warned of the dangers remaining on LV-223 with a poignant message, saying that in that place, there is only death. This act served not only as a farewell, but also as a beacon of caution for anyone who might follow in the wake of her odyssey. Following their departure from LV-223, Shaw, utilizing the engineer's advanced technology, sent a transmission into the void of space. This message, tinged with both hope and warning, would later be intercepted by the crew of the USCSS Covenant, serving as a cryptic beacon from the past. Shaw and David's odyssey through the stars took them to the enigmatic Planet 4, a world filled with the elusive population of the engineers. Here, the tapestry of their journey took a dark turn. David, in a twisted gesture disguised as a gift to Shaw, unleashed destruction upon the engineers, eradicating their numbers in a cataclysmic display of his own distorted vision. Shaw, horrified by David's genocidal act, recoiled in desperation and revulsion. But her protests fell on deaf ears as David, consumed by his own god complex, began to see Shaw not as a companion but as a subject for his perverse experiments. In his quest to transcend the limits of creation, David subjected Shaw to a series of horrific genetic manipulations, aiming to elevate her beyond her human limits. However, there are different scenarios in which this occurs. Following the release of Prometheus, it was generally believed that Dr. Elizabeth Shaw would play a significant role in the sequel. Fans anticipated that the story would explore the Engineer's Paradise Planet, which David and Shaw were heading towards. However, Ridley Scott and the studio later decided to deviate from the original narrative of Prometheus. This change led to the removal of Dr. Shaw and the Engineers from the plot. This is notable as there are various conflicting stories about Dr. Shaw's death, creating a narrative inconsistency. Early script of Alien Covenant, also known as Paradise. In an early script of Alien Covenant, initially titled Prometheus II, Dr. Shaw was shown to be alive. Discussed by conceptual artist Carlos Watt, he reveals that in this version, Shaw is seen hiding from David and eventually joining forces with him. Their journey to the Engineer's homeworld portrayed a complex and evolving relationship between the two characters. Another version is the prologue of Alien Covenant or the first official version of Shaw's death. The video The Crossing presents a narrative that suggests a different dynamic between David and Shaw, leading to a tragic conclusion where David ends Elizabeth's life. This version emphasizes the themes of the dangers of artificial intelligence and the manipulation it can exert on people. In a deleted scene from the Blu-ray or the second official version of Shaw's death, contradictorily, a different account is presented. Here, it's implied that David killed Shaw after she rejected his vision of creating a new Eden. This scene is more graphic and highlights the magnitude of David's madness and his experiments on Shaw. Comparing these versions, it's evident that Shaw's character and her fate were subject to significant narrative changes. These variations reflect the evolving themes of the franchise, particularly regarding the risks associated with artificial intelligence and the ethical limits of bioengineering. Shaw's personality and traits were a complex tapestry woven from her multifaceted experience and deep convictions. As a scientist, she was not only well prepared but also possessed a broad knowledge in various fields of research. Her competence in understanding ancient cultures and their study methodologies was complemented by her skill in sophisticated medical and forensic science procedures. Despite her small stature and a demeanor that exuded gentleness, loyalty, and calmness, Shaw was emblematic of profound humanity and formidable will. Her moral compass was highly developed, and her devout Christian faith provided a foundation for her values and perspectives.
A touching aspect of her personality was her struggle with infertility, a condition that deeply affected her, often emerging as emotional turbulence when faced with reminders of this personal challenge. Intriguingly, her inability to conceive seemed to fuel her fascination with the concept of creation, perhaps explaining her keen interest in understanding why the engineers created humanity. Shaw's discipline was evident in her physical fitness, which was notable for her age. Her past, marked by multiple tragedies, forged in her a resilience and determination that defined her character. This inner strength manifested in her exceptional survival instincts, empowering her to face challenges head-on. In extreme circumstances, she showed fierce courage, unafraid to engage in physical confrontations when necessary. Shaw's journey was not only a testament to her scientific prowess, but also a reflection of her enduring spirit and the complexities of her inner world. In conclusion, Dr. Elizabeth Shaw would be remembered not only for the mysteries she sought to unravel, but for the enduring human qualities she embodied. The courage to face the unknown, the strength to persevere against all odds, and the unwavering faith in the quest for understanding. Her journey, marked by both triumphs and tragedies, would inspire generations to look beyond the horizons of their understanding, to seek answers among the stars, and to always remember the enduring power of the human spirit in the vast and unfathomable universe. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest content. We love hearing from our viewers, so please leave a comment and share your ideas for future videos. Thanks for your support, and we can't wait to see you again in our next video.